the hand mail prize and say we get my Blue Yeti back. So we can finally, hopefully, have better audio than this. One sec. <laughs> so today is going to be a shorter episode, like probably like five minutes maybe. I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep it, but we're going to do Natsuki's thing up. So yeah. Who should I show my poem to next? Natsuki. Hmm? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. <clears throat> it just didn't invoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I have to show you mine. I thought you like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Cr crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But this point, but isn't, but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like it when, when it's easy to read, but when it hits you hard. Okay. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more right weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it all fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So we did. I guess more went to it than I realized. That's how it needs to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from a younger one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care about how care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, of, I won't take that away from her. Well, that's basically that. I can go on though. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was more, a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can't stand up to theirs. Whew. This is the literature club after all. I sigh. So, I... Uh, I don't know. This is, I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monika are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri, Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read their read in their in tandem, I watched each other's expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows for for um in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> What's with this language? Eh? <clears throat> oh yeah, right. Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could... You could easily say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly, clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? 
I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to, to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come up nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people, which people did, by the way. So they already liked it, and Kobe did too. So based on that, I gl I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change anytime. I don't expect. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. I'm cool with my poem too, you know. He even told me that he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, uh. Cat fight! We got a cat fight today, guys! That's not what I... You... You were just... He just stands up as well. Hey, you just tell us that Kobe appreciates my advice more than he, he appreciated yours! Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No, I... Oh, I was full of myself. I deliberately got my way to make everything I do only really cutesy. Ooh. Um, no. Um, is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Colby started showing up. No, no, that's cute! That's a little. Oh, I, I, I can't do both of at the same time, so it's like, I'll just do Natsuki, it's easier. This doesn't involve you! I, I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was there, standing there. Kobe! No, Kobe? She, she stands. She, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she can get over herself and learn to appreciate the, that simple writing is more effective, then this would, wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making poems all con convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that there, Colby. Wait. There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning that most effectively. Learning them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Kobe? Um, oh god, oh god, what do I do? Oh no! I'm in, I'm, I'm been dragged into a cat fight! Well! I got nothing. <laughs> How did I get dragged into this in the first place? So long as you know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they're probably gonna think more highly of me. Oh. Okay, we're gonna save this right here. I want to pick this one. It's like, help me, Sayori. Help me, Sayori. You're Natsuki. Oh, so I want to go for Yuri. I don't want like Natsuki, but I want Noel.
You wanna help me, Sari? Tatsuki, guys are me dying. Once again, guys are me dying up for any words in my head and mouth. And saying, said, turn to Yuri. Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! <laughs> eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting, so it's making Sayori uncomfortable. How can you, the two of you keep fighting when you know your friend you're making your friend feel like this? Colby! Well, that's her problem, isn't it? Isn't. Well, well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. <sighs> Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She wouldn't. She wouldn't have her. It's your immaturity that makes her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why no one likes... Stop! <laughs> okay, I'll try this again. Stop! <clears throat> Damn, my voice is quiet. I can't do that. Natsuki! Yuri! You guys are my friends! I I just want everyone to get along. And be happy! My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint a beautiful picture in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? Be because! <clears throat> Sorry, that was terrible. Well... Also, Natsuki's cute, there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and cute! <laughs> Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monika stands behind her with the bewildered expression. Oh, make some tea. Mia rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I have my friend Monika. She nods in her turn. To be honest. <clears throat> no. I'll go look bigger than your reason. To be honest. I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good at with people. I couldn't bring myself to interject. That's perfect. That's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means say always amazing on her own way, isn't it? Didn't she? Let's say. You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes she's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. Uh, I see. Take care of her then. Okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes the two of us. You can count on me. When you smile is really at me, causing my stomach to, to not. Genuine person, it really doesn't make it. A genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get a chance to talk to her a little bit more. Okay, everyone, I'm sorry for this mistake, but um, what happened was the game sort of cut out the recording cut. So basically, what happens after this is just that they. Go home, and really, that's it. They end the thing, they go home, they have to write another poem, a better poem, so that's what happens. So, we'll continue from there in the next episode. So, yeah, if you did this video, please leave a like, subscribe for, the, for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Jenny. <laughs>